Hello everyone, welcome to round two. And this seems interesting. It's got a one drop. It's got a one drop. We could draw a bat. <laughs> it's not good. It's not great, but it's it's passable possibly. Passable possibly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or is that possibly passable? Whatever. One drop, go! Yay, we have a one drop. The most awkward looking fungus. <laughs> hey, he doesn't have a one drop. That makes That's... our one drop better. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Worst possible. Right. We need something to add some power to the field. Yep. That would work. Uh, yeah. That would work. That's about it. We're basically dead. I think we should go to game two. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very quick assumption. Ooh, that's pretty sick, right? Yeah, that's a pretty solid card. Um, awkward fact is if he goes nameless inversion, we have to sack the valid and the token. Worth it. Yeah, probably. Because that plus, this card plus scatter the seeds just goes insane, so. Because then we're just trading his nameless inversion for our Tuka tongue. Right. A Baku. Sure. Yeah, I got no problems with that. Um, Smash face. Just with the vampire, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then we get to scatter the seeds. Mm hmm I could scatter the seeds, sack five creatures, and duel him 11. Yeah, he's almost dead, which is interesting. It doesn't look like he's almost dead, but he but. is actually almost dead. So, I think it's just scatter the seeds, then, like, Grim Affliction to remove the Baku. He does nothing? Sure, we'll take two. I, I don't give a crap about taking two. Yeah. Scatter Seeds is pretty good. Yeah, it'll be pretty darn good here in just a sec. Is it better than Spectral Procession? Um. Both can be cast as early as turn three. Yeah. I still think Spectral Procession is better, but. I mean, technically, we have Spectral Procession on our sideboard. Yeah, we do. Oh, what's he debating here? Still in Blackus? Yeah, we're still in Blackus right now. Okay. So he's probably black white splashing green for guild mage. That's a good guess. Green is a uh, weird splash. It's not too many green things that you'd splash for, I think. You usually just splash for guild mage's ability. Yeah. We'll see what he does here though, obviously. What is his Art there is that the bell tower? Uh, that's Wrathy Dragon, I believe. Yeah, Wrathy Dragon. Doesn't really look like Wrathy Dragon, but you never know. I suppose. Doesn't look anything like it. From what? Vintage Masters. Wrathy Dragon was in Tempest Remastered. Hmm. Yeah. Still racking the old school ninja here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like become my thing. Okay, what's he got? A moonlit strider. Sure. sure. Yeah, I, I'm not. Well, it's kind of do annoying. I grim reflection or grim affliction in response? Maybe kill the Baku. Hmm. Is it worth it? Could be. I mean, he soul shifts to get it back eventually. 
I think it's fine. To, it's better just to scatter, probably. Yeah. Scatter's just powerful as all heck, so. Scatter some seeds. We we got seeds all over the place. Uh, go guard your rot farm. Well, talk about relatively useless shit. Hmm. Yeah, this is terrible. Uh. I don't really even want to attack because I have to sacrifice a guy to make certain that I don't die to that. Yeah, the attacks here are terrible. I think we just have to play rap for him. Yeah. Well, that's just gross. Yep. We've drawn a lot of lands. Yep. But we have a lot of live draws, too. We do have a lot of live draws. Creekwood Liege being the best at this point, I think. Yes, I think Creekwood Liege would be pretty insane at this point. Hmm. I love how our little sapperling tokens are foil from the foil scatter the <laughs> seeds. So they'll look different when we play a regular scatter the seeds. It's just the small things in life. The small things. You gotta take joy in something. His name is Gloop. Gloop. What's his first name? Glop. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are we laughing? I don't even understand this. His first name is Augustus. Augustus Gloop? Yeah, from Willy Wonka. I like Glop better. <laughs> Glop Gloop. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it'd actually be... Gloop is his first name, and Glop is his second name. Gloop, Glop. <laughs> Hop along, Glop. Alright. Two, I suppose. Nothing. Interesting. Oh. Ooh! That's interesting. That's still pretty useless. Right. Because, I mean, it allows us to force him to block properly. Yeah. So we can get in there. Yeah, we can start actually getting in there because it forces a, the right blocks, basically. Mm -hmm. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, we're not quite yeah. there. Not quite. Sack them all. Okay, that's a very sure. weak tap. Yeah, sure. That's fine. <laughs> I guess he's scared of that. We gotta watch out for Devouring Greed. It's probably the dude who has it. Right. Um, whenever I play against Black-White Spirits, I always am playing around Devouring Greed, which right now it's for six, so... It's for eight now, after he casts Thief of Hope? Probably. Arrest. Arrest. Sad face. Yeah, that's fine. Got us. We don't even have, like, any Sunder even Vite in the board. Uh, yeah, we got basically nothing. <laughs> Calling Dias is nuts! <laughs> that card is insane right now. Yeah, it is. I suppose we can move over the X to whatever. Right, to, uh, I guess. Valid? Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Oh, Culling Dice is so filthy. We can almost even start attacking then, if that's the case. Maybe next turn. Can still hold up Grim Affliction here, but... Um, whatever he blocks with. Yeah. Uh, so we'll swap this over here, I guess? Sure. It doesn't really matter. It's just getting it off of that. Uh, so we sit back, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. we can't attack, so. Moonless but then, Spider like... has just that one point of toughness. But yeah, yeah we but... get to sack the vampire, and then we get to just start sacking anything we need, so. Mm -hmm. Even, like, end of turn, Grim Affliction, the stupid Baku. If he saves it, great. If he doesn't... It right. dies, and then we start attacking, and whatever he blocks, we can sack to Dias and right. just start going nuts here. That's some card advantage. Second Baku. 
That's should we annoying. kill it? Yeah, I think we try to kill it now. Well, not really a point to killing it now, but... Oh, well, alright, you let it die. Oh, you have to add the counter. Oh, I have to click that counter. Add a my... You know what? Frick it, I'll <laughs> give it a Kai counter, too. Have a Kai counter. <laughs> Actually, no, don't have a Kai counter. It's gonna die. Oh, yeah, it is. He can't, he can't save it in response. Alright, well... How many times did you add a counter? Just one. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of irrelevant. Whatever. We get to draw, like, eight cards, eventually. Alright. Um. Alright. So, end of turn, we can just sack Vampire... Second creature, I guess we still can't really attack now. Right, so yeah, uh, we sack Vampire on his turn here, and then we figure it out from there. So, goodbye Vampire, we no longer need your services. You're better served elsewhere. <laughs> Dear God. It's fine. At this point, we just can play the waiting game. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I just don't want to see something like Midnight Banshee. That'd be annoying. Tarashi's Grasp on what? Calling Dice? So I think we want to sack a token. To um, don't want to Oh, yeah. So we sack a token and then sack the, er, the Calling Dice after. Yeah. So sack a token. Who plays that main board? Some people. We kind of three for one him. Kind of. Still. Got rid of grass, drew two cards. Hopefully, draw something sicko here. Creekwood Liege, of course. Haven't seen the lands. <laughs> oh, gosh. What the hell happened with the shuffler? <laughs> I don't know, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. He's still not doing anything. Now he's kind of doing stuff. Oh boy. I think this is getting awkward. Alright, sure. we'll draw more cards. More lands. Well. Bat trades with his guy. It's not terrible. Bat does trade with his guy. Or possibly his Strider, which is still not terrible. And yes. actually, the Lacerator's fine. The Lacerator's fine, fine too, because I can equip it with the sword. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, we're temporarily still in this. Barely. Yeah, the later this game goes, the, I think the less chances we have. Because right. even though we have fine synergy, we all know how good <laughs> Spirits has it for synergy. Especially now that he had double white, that might turn on some stuff. I'm not sure what, but it's possible. I think he gets in there with Dagger Claw. There's not really reason not to. Can't really block. Yeah, I could see that. Gloop is thinking. 
Gloop is thinking. It's kind of hard for him to think because it's kind of mushy up there. It's just a big pile of gloop. Gloop, gloop. Gloop, gloop. Gloop, 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 gloop. Gloop. <laughs> sickle? Sickle, 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 Baku. Fine. So he's gonna have a lot of Bakus floating around. That's fine. We have three Plague Dursalkos to punish the heck out of him. Right. If we ever draw anything. Hmm. This is interesting. Protection from black. Okay. Hmm. Awkward. Yep. He has seven power. It is kind of getting scary. Yeah, it is. Because we're not doing anything is the issue. Ah, Rusalka. Got there. Well. Now we get to start chewing things apart. Yeah. In fact, we can even get in there with... Well, everything. definitely that thing. I think we get in with everything. Maybe not everything. Anything what we it... blocks, we just sack one of the little guys to... Oh, sure, yeah. Right. Yeah. So we actually just can't block without losing stuff. Right. So he probably throws... I don't know what he does. Maybe he does nothing. We can randomly stick the axe on a Rusalka for not really much value. It might disincentivize him from attacking with the Bakus, at least. It might. It's a possibility. It's hard to say. Because I don't really see him blocking. His blocks are all terrible. Even like... I guess maybe one of his blocks he could do is double blocking Lacerator. Uh, that still is not good. Yeah, his blocks are pretty bad. Yeah, his blocks are not great. So the result, We do have three Rusalkas, so I guess there was a solid chance to draw one. But the yeah. Rusalkas are great draws. Just randomly. Skeleton after this would be pretty good. Yeah, when you're flooded like this, skeleton's pretty solid. What's going on here? It's probably double queuing. Okay. Sure. I guess we sack the other one? This Maybe guy? the sapperling. Why not this guy to make a new sapperling? Because we can always get value off of that in case he has a removal spell at some point. Okay, fair enough. So we traded... Two Zapperlings for Baku? Yeah, seems like a great trade. Yeah, I got no problems with that. Yeah, he's in trouble. Alright. Might as well play a force because if we draw a reassembling skeleton, we sure. want all Thanos. Why not? Uh. And I suppose we kill the imp? Yeah, I'll, I'll use this to kill the imp. That's fine. I got no problems with that. That seems reasonable enough. <laughs> what the hell? 
might be an equipment. Makes sense at three. Or a removal spell for the Rusalka. Could be. There's options. Removal spell for Rusalka is pretty bad, because we get to eat both his guys in response. Thief of Hope. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Yeah, so we can kill that stupid guy. Do we want to maybe also trade here? With Rusalka? Yeah, Rusalka and the token. We have so many cards that make Rusalka just I think insane. We don't. Yeah, I think we just want to. It's it. close. I could see it. I think we wait a turn or two. I mean, that thing does have three counters on it. Yeah. That's why I think it's close. But I think it's still better just to wait. Right. Playing around Devouring Greed, of course, again, because he pretty much has it, I think. Oh. What is this? I don't know. I dismember. Sure. Uh, on the vampire? Yeah. Now we can sack that to get rid of his Baku. Right, yeah. That makes sense. That didn't seem too great. I did target the Baku, right? Target Baku. Okay. Maybe he misclicked. He might have wanted to get rid of Rusalka. He might have. It's hard to say. You never know with that. I mean, Rusalka is just ridiculous, though. I can just block now, even? Uh, oh, yeah, I can. I don't even have to. Because we're still at the declare attacker step. Yeah. Go to blockers. Block. Yeah. Sweet. And we have an axe, and he doesn't. Right. And he's only on 11 minutes because he's taking forever. Oh, so good. I guess I equip and swing? <laughs> Even as a 2-2, two -two, it's good. Right, I'm still going to... I guess I swing, though. Sure, I think I'll trade, but whatever. If he doesn't... like that... Oh, then this is nuts. Bam. Why wouldn't he trade there? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't want to trade a 2-2 two -two for a one, 1-1, one, uh, one, which is a 3-1, but... Yeah, he gets punished pretty hard. Silly Augustus. What? <laughs> Augustus Gloop. The big fat income poop. That's Willy Wonka. Oh. What is this? Uh... Something huge? Mirror entity? No. <laughs> no. Alright. No, 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 no. How many mirror entities could there be in a draft? 24? <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, Three. what the heck? Chimeric mass, probably? Probably. We did pass one. That would make sense. This guy must be on a 48-bit connection or something. Maybe. Yeah, he's just going to lose on time. It's almost frustrating playing against double cures. Profane command. Ew. Well, I suppose we can sack to shrink his whatever. Yeah, I guess. Not that it does much, but... I mean, we can always... Sack the this reanimated or yeah reanimated. Ugh. it's gross. That is gross. All right, that's definitely something that got him back in it. Yeah, yeah, it did. All right, we need something powerful. Still think we're in a fine position. We still haven't seen our Creekwood Liege ever. Haven't even drawn it over all the games. Uh, Kami is annoying. Trying 
trains us. Yep. Scare the seeds is great. That's pretty good. Alright, well, I guess we just kind of sit back and. Ambush? Ambush, yeah. Strider is going to be getting back stupid. Bakus. Bakus, yeah. Maybe we just take three and then start getting in there for. Yeah, I think we do. Axe damage. Well, we get to swing with all the tokens because we get to at least force a right. Strider at use, right? I don't know, it's interesting. All right, man. Reassembling skeleton. One time. Would be an interesting draw. Or another swamp. Swamp. We have one more swamp in the entire deck. I think. You didn't. You wanted to move over an axe. For I doing this. Did. I think I still can swing though. With what? The saplings, because then I can always block sack, and then sack sack if he tries to prevent it. I don't think our attacks are good anymore. All right. Well, With an axe, it was fine, but we can move it over here. Yeah. Just leave it back to block. Leaving him back is fine too. This effectively shuts off all of his attacks except Moonlight Strider. Right. Okay, we snap block that. Right. Trade a one one for a two two. I like getting rid of his spirits. It reduces the odds that he draws Devouring Greed to blow us up. Wow. Well, that's all our forests, I think. Or yep. no, there's two more forests, right? I think so. We have 11, 12 out of 16 lands. Well, we can still equip an axe. Ah, God, why do I keep forgetting that? F3? I can't go back a phase. F3. What's F3? Oh, I, oh, you meant to attack? Yeah, I don't know why you keep doing it. But we can still sit back again. Yeah, he should be at much less life. Right. But, I think I'm distracted. <laughs> yes, you're definitely distracted. And I know why. Yes, quite. So get undistracted. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Another profane command? The ghost oh, council. he got the ghost council. Sick. Oh boy. I think we're pretty screwed here. Well, he's, he's got a good deck. But he's wasted so much time. Which I game, know. Which game is this? Is this one? game one? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't even attack with Strider. Grim Affliction is not even good. <laughs> yeah, I think we just gotta sit. Yep. I think we're on the time him out plan. Probably sacks a guy here. Do you think that will work? He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's definitely thinking about it. Because he can sack Strider to get back Baku blinking. We lose one, then Baku will lose another one. Then blink out all his guys, that's four more. So we're not dead. Right. He should have attacked with Strider, though, last turn. I agree, I think he definitely should have. If he attacks this one, I think we chump and then shoot at the Wither guy. In which case, he blinks it and we lose one, but... We lose one regard. Oh yeah, of course that guy's attacking for him. Same blocks, I think. Block, shoot the wither guy. Yeah, uh, block, shoot wither guy. I agree. <sighs> shoot wither guy. Sickle ripper. He blinks his guy. Yeah, then he blinks... 
post council, and then things get all weird. Trains us. Yep. Hmm. Creekwood leech? I think that's like our only reasonable draw here. What the heck, dude? Swamp. Okay. Well, we have the Grim Affliction, his Ghost Council, block with Sapperling. He blinks out. He probably just gives a protection from right. something at that point. I think we're pretty solidly screwed. <laughs> We've drawn almost all of our lands. Yeah, but we can't take four. So I think we have to do that. Right. We could even do it end of turn. Just let the three damage go. Sure. So, Grim Reflection then? Sure. Just it's not great. It's not going to do anything, but... At the very least, this makes them eat time on the clock. <laughs> right. I agree. Chess clock is a real wind condition. Yep. Giving it pro black, I suppose. Oh, pro black? Pro black. What did he give it? Pro if you give it pro black, we can shrink it with Rusalka now, too. Yeah. In which case, he has to blink it again. It might be the play, I don't know. Well, right now, he's got. He hasn't given it pro anything. But um, we can do this effect, and then... Sacking Thief of Hope. Yeah, so he'll have to sack Thief of Hope and be down to nothing. Yeah. And then any draws we have are pretty good. So he'll just... Oh! Oh! He just let it die? The hell? Okay. We have outs. We have outs. It's a <laughs> reassembling <laughs> skeleton. Like well... <laughs> a little late to the party. Carries an axe. It carries an axe. It's a little late to the party. Skeletons are never late to parties. They come when they want. They're just like, whatever. The party okay. starts when they're there. Alright, so our opponent has taken 20 minutes on game one. Right. <laughs> We're just going to get Devar and Greed out of this game, I know it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Here, here comes Waxmane. Wax main plus devour and greed. GG. Oh, well, there's the wax made. Yep. Alright. Another Rusalka, please. Something. Well. Uh, <laughs> not much you can do about that. Equip skeleton? It's already equipped. Equip it again? Can you do that? <laughs> Make him... <laughs> made him waste a second. Okay, he f 6 Okay. <laughs> it's the little edges. Another Baku. All yep. Right. Hey, he finally got there. We drew all lands. Oh, he didn't tap our... He, he'll do it here, and he'll do it now. Yeah. So, okay. he finally gets there. He's only got four minutes left. Alright. What stall maneuvers do we have on <laughs> our board? Apostle's Blessing is pretty cool. Apostle's Blessing is kind of interesting. I think it's um, good against him, too. The Calling Dias, the Tereshi's Grasp only has the target of Calling Dias, so it might be worthwhile taking it out. Yes, I agree. Other than that... I think that's it. Yeah. Sure. Alright. <laughs> this seems pretty solid. We get to go one drop into Bloodthirst Bats. Yep.
with the sick combo Usaka skeleton already in hand. Right. Bloop. Boom. Bam. Take one. Aha! My bloodthirst is active. <laughs> These bats will be your death. <laughs> Land? Oh, nice. Sure. Land was great. Because now I get to have active bats and grim affliction up. Well, another bat would... Right, we get to go bat, and then next turn we have grim affliction for whatever he plays, and we get in for seven. Yeah. So he goes like Baku or Thief. Thief, I think. Baku. Alright, so we're gonna just wipe out this Baku and just bash for a crap ton here. I wonder if he just scoops. Probably should. If I were him, I'd scoop to. Alright, yeah. so right. game three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we just submit. Unless you have any other ideas. How good is Thief of Hope against him? I think it might be fine. It's yeah. a grindier thing. Yeah, it is. Um, I think we'll cut Sign and Blood, probably? Yeah, sure. Thief of Hope gets back our Rusalkos, which seem to be the best card against him. Maybe it should be in the deck anyways. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, it only triggers off the Rusalkas. Yeah, but it gets them back, too, which is pretty True. strong. That is a very good point. Hmm. Winner of this plays, I need a bucket. <laughs> I don't know what they need it for, but... And I don't know if I want to find out. Board. Super sideboard? Super duper sideboard. He's bringing in all the tech. Every piece of tech. Actually, more realistic, he, he's playing three minutes on his other double Q game. Right. It's probably what's going on. Z Z Apparently. I think you should just message him and tell him the scoop here, because save us both time, since he's gonna lose on time anyways. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna lose on time anyways. <laughs> But then we get this hand. Then we get this hand. Right after I say that, so I feel like a... Instant karma. Instant karma. <laughs> I think we keep it. Sure. If we draw a swamp, which we're apparently very good at doing. Plus we intimidated him. Plus we just gotta stall him for four minutes. <laughs> swamp? Boom. Get oh, there. the sickest. <laughs> <laughs> Another swamp? Finally drew the Creekwood Liege, by the way. Finally. We'll get to play it. Finally drew it. Alright. Ooh. Still, bats are better, I think. Yeah, bats are just better. Because of proliferate. <laughs> Do you want to just scoop? <laughs> hey, it's a legit question. Alright. That thing could be scary. But we get to chump it for two turns. Oh, hey, now hmm. we get to play more things. Last Raider and Bat. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Hey, we might even win. How about that? We might. It's kind of scary. Just deploy an entire army by turn three. If he attacks here, I kind of like... I, I like blocking with yeah. Lacerator. Oh. Straight. I still like blocking with Lacerator. I think so. 
Because then we can, like, do something with counters. How about Creek with Leech? Land for Creek with Leech? Boom! Get there! Oh, shoot. I should have played it pre combat. Yeah. <laughs> I just missed out on some damage. Doesn't matter. Well, it might matter, but. It could. Now I just get to feel like the dumbass that didn't play his Creek Red Leech at the right point. But we did draw, like, perfect lands for our curve. <laughs> Good. This guy deserves to get punished. Now he's going to play as fast as he can. Arrest. Fine. Okay. We got a 3-3. Three, three. So here's a fun thing. If I Grim Affliction, um, this thing, it and he doesn't respond to it, it doesn't get to persist. How does that work, are you? If he doesn't respond to it by doing this, this doesn't oh. persist. Right. So let's try it. We'll see how close he's paying. Proliferate he's our F60. paths. <laughs> it's dead. Yep. Crunch? Uh, yeah, crunch with everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. Seems Do you want to just scoop? They should have just scooped. Yeah. The gloop has scooped. <laughs> Scoop up the gloop. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Say scoop up the gloop. We just scooped up the gloop. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you all in the next round.